This video demonstrates the proper procedures for lamp replacement on the C-Series barcode digital projectors. Before beginning any lamp installation, make sure you are wearing the proper safety equipment, including a protective jacket, wrist protectors, gloves, and face mask. For this installation, you will need a 17 mm wrench, a torque wrench with a 17 mm socket and a 5 mm hex, a flat blade screwdriver, a 5 mm hex wrench, and a clean, lint-free cloth. First, after the lamp has been turned off for at least 15 minutes with the cooling fans running, turn the power to the projector off. Open the side door by using a flat blade screwdriver to loosen the two captive screws. Set the door aside. Loosen the three captive screws that hold the lamp housing in place. Grasp the lamp housing by the twin handles at the top and bottom and carefully slide the entire housing out of the projector. Set the lamp housing at your work area. Remove the side cover of the lamp housing by loosening the two retaining thumb screws and lifting the cover. At the rear of the lamp housing, remove the cathode locking screw using the 5 mm wrench. Reach in through the side panel to support the front end of the lamp. Then. Loosen the four retaining thumb screws and remove the front panel. Lift the insulator out of its slot in the housing. Remove the lamp by sliding it straight out, being careful not to touch the reflector. Place the old lamp into its original protective carrier and secure with Velcro straps. Remove the insulator from the anode cable on the old lamp using a 17 mm wrench and the 17 mm socket. You'll later be attaching the insulator to the replacement lamp. Next, loosen the lock nut on the cathode adapter using the 5 mm wrench. Unthread the adapter and set aside for use on the replacement lamp. Replace the old lamp in its original packaging. While the lamp is out, clean the reflector with a lint-free cloth. Next, use the cloth to wipe off the UV glass and visually inspect for any damage. Now you're ready to install the replacement lamp. Carefully remove the new lamp from its original packaging. With the lamp still in its protective carrier, thread the cathode adapter onto the lamp and lock in place using the 5 mm hex socket. Torque this to 22 inch pounds. Next, reattach the insulator to the anode cable using the 17 mm socket and the 17 mm wrench. Torque this to 80 inch pounds. When installing the new lamp, make certain that the two guide pins align properly with the socket in the rear of the housing. Slide the lamp into position, again being careful not to touch the reflector. Replace the insulator in its slot in the lamp housing. When properly installed, the anode cable should be facing straight down. While supporting the lamp, Replace the front plate. Align the anode pin with the flange on the UV shield and tighten the four retaining thumb screws. Install the cathode locking pin at the rear of the lamp housing.
Replace the lamp housing side cover, securing with the two thumb screws. When placing the lamp housing back into the projector, make certain that the electrical connections on the lamp housing and the projector interior are intact and aligned. Slide the lamp housing carefully into the projector and secure in place by tightening the three captive screws. Before replacing the side door, power on the projector. Follow the projector's recommended procedures for aligning the lamp. Once the lamp is properly aligned, replace the side door and tighten the two captive screws. Installation is complete. Now, it's showtime.